campus, George here, late morning, my uh, kiddos are here making breakfast, nice day today, blue skies, a couple of clouds, a little warm and muggy, but it's a good day, any day outdoors is a good day. While uh, my breakfast is being made for me, <laughs> I thought I'd share something with you. Yep, George has been shopping again. Been having a look at knives again. Camping knives, bush camp knives, that sort of thing. Decided I wanted to look at something different. Did some reading up, grind, blade type, something not the usual camp style knife to see what it's about. One I got, GCS Custom Knives Tanto. It comes in a, a nice box and everything. I've already opened it up. It did come with a very nice leather sheath. Very thick, very strong. I really like this. The knife is in there tight. It's not going anywhere. Very well made. You can see their logo in it. Um, it is not the traditional, as you know, the traditional Tanto blade is actually curved. It doesn't have the point on it there. And uh, this is more in the European, almost not quite American. American has a third blade on it and has the point. R originally designed as a, I believe, a short sword is what it was used for and like I said it didn't have that point on it where the two blades come together the front drop point there and the main blade along them the blade is D2 stainless steel the grind is a hollow grind very nice this thing is pretty solid I will tell you that you saw the specs uh, at the beginning of the video it is a full obviously full tang a camel bone for the handle with wood got some weight to it this is a pretty strong solid knife is it a bushcraft survival knife personally i think it's more a tactical style knife it is a not really a slashing knife so skinning and things like that um, it's not really designed for that or else it will it would work for that but it is more of a tactical thrust stab type knife with the point and the cutting edge and Rachel's bringing me a cup of coffee. Perfect. Good parenting pays off. <laughs> the only thing so far that I've seen that uh, surprised me is that there's nowhere to put a lanyard. Uh, there's no hole. And I, I was pretty sure in the description they actually said it was there. Um, but I don't see it. But I'll have to check that for you. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. I am going to try some... Uh, camping skills with it to see if it'll work right now I'm pretty happy I really really like the handle it fits my hand perfectly nice grip let's play a little bit GCS Tanto custom made uh, in the sheath the sheath is like I said it's leather it's solid let's see how it works as a camp slash bushcraft survival type knife let's see if it'll chop It chops through pretty good. <laughs> so it'll do the chopping. Although, as you know, in the original design of a Tanto blade, you didn't have the point. Uh, it was originally designed with a curved surface, and then the way they ground it gave that point. But you still had a curved surface for slashing. It is a thick blade designed for stabbing, not for slashing. Or So that was my concern with it. So far, we're doing okay, it cuts pretty good. Get it on you. So you can see there, it did come from and it is still sharp. I'm not seeing any problems with the blade. That's straight from the factory and it's, it's sharp. The one thing I wanted to look at which interested me was I like the idea of the point and this cutting edge here which is, I want to say, more of a chisel. So I wanted to see if that would work, if you could use it like that. Oh, God. But I wanted to know if I could uh, maybe feather with that chisel edge. I mean, you can. It's not working as well as I thought it would. And because of the angle of the chisel edge, the blade tends to slide sideways but it's working you can see right there 
obviously using the main blade shouldn't be a problem. It's more than sharp enough. The uh, sharpness of this blade does make the... Uh, I, can't, I don't have a good piece of wood to show you, but... Oops. See the feathering, it'll feather just fine as with any piece, you know, any good knife. Will it bludgeon wood? Probably more than thick enough. See if we can find something and give it a try. So I've got my Eric's ferro rod and uh, the Tanto. And as you can see on the back here, a very nice sharp 90 degrees both sides. So I'm not predicting any problems uh, using a ferro rod and this guy is striker spark. Just gonna hold it here and pull back. And you can see it gives a good strike. And that's hot. Oh my God. Sorry. So we're back in the man cave now and uh, I played around a little bit with the knife. Unfortunately, <laughs> the video didn't come out. It bludgeoned just fine. Uh, this is a this is a, a sturdy knife. You can see how thick it is here. Um, it's solid. It had it handled it no problem. Straight from the factory, really sharp. And uh, all in all, I really like this knife. It is a well-made knife. The handle just really impressed me. It feels really good in my hand. And you know, I struggle with that with knives. I I really. I'll find a nice knife and the handle puts me off. This one, it's the other way. This is winning me with the handle. As far as uh, the Tanto style blade, interesting online research and things like that, just trying to improve my knowledge on knives, grinds, how to sharpen them, the different knife styles, a little bit of history, that sort of thing. And this got my attention and I just wondered if it could work as a camp knife. It's not really a camp knife or a bushcraft knife. This is, for me, a tactical knife. Self-defense, although it did do all the tasks that typically I would use a camp knife for. Not as well. Just what am I going to do with it? I'm going to keep it. It is custom built and I may even take it for a ride now and again just to play with it. GCS Custom Knives Tanto. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. And I'm pretty sure I'll be back again with something else we can talk about. Just saying. Thanks for watching. Bye.